Good morning from Baco National Park. We just arrived here and are on the boat right now to go towards the entrance of the Baco National Park and we're both so so excited to be seeing the nature and the beautiful scenery around this area. Okay, so just like that we have arrived at Baco National Park. A very quick, a very quick boat ride and some absolutely incredible, beautiful views. And we've arrived on a beach of all places. So now it's time to pick a trail, go deep into the wilderness. Wow, this beach is gorgeous. It's like something out of a Hollywood set or something. Have a look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Wow first impression straight away of this national park. This is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very wild, very clean and very hot. We just got a glimpse at a proboscis monkey literally just after we registered for the park. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Um, I thought we would have to be hunting around and looking in bushes and climbing trees and whatever to find one of these, but nope. Literally, as soon as we registered, it's like, there's a proboscis monkey over there. I was like, okay. Wow. Yeah, I think we can go back on the boat. <laughs> to the trails. So, this is exactly where we got off the boat, believe it or not. And then we made our way to the registration office. Got to see a really cool proboscis monkey. And uh, now we're on our way to our first trail. Yeah, be careful. There's crocodiles everywhere in the water, so don't go for a swim. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> you're, um, not, you're, not, you're not actually even permitted yeah, to. Yeah, I think it's prohibited to swim here in this area. So I brought flip-flops anyway, just in <coughs> case I get wet feet. But <laughs> I hope I'm not going to use them. Yeah. On we go. Now you can see how much the tide changed. When we arrived, the water was all the way up to like the third or fourth step. Oh wow. And now the water is gone, so the tide moves in and out really fast. Crazy. Okay, so we're currently <laughs> on the hunt for the trail that we want to do. Uh, one of the shorter trails so I think we're gonna try and do we're gonna try and do two trails in Sorry? one day trip and um, we thought we took the wrong turn because it said that we were on a red trail which is like a three and a half hour long trail that's not what we want to do but I think now we're actually back oh, nice. on the right trajectory towards where we need to be we have a sign you have a sign the vegetation here is really something else. Yeah, wow. we're, we're going for the Telok Paku. Telok Paku, 800 meters. That's uh, supposed to be the one where you can see the most amount of animals the if you're lucky. monkeys and stuff like that. So yeah, we go left towards the beach. <coughs> it says it's only 800 meters, but apparently it's one and a half hours for 800 meters. So oh. Not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one hour. One hour, sorry. It's old lady speed. <laughs> so, Telok Paku, this is the first one we're going to do. And then, second, I believe, is Telok Pandan Kekesil. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. But, uh, let's go. This is um, something that I don't see being covered very much. If at all, I saw a couple videos, did a little, very, very limited uh, understanding and research about this place, to be honest. This is very much like a last minute decision for us. But, um, wow, very beautiful so far. I can tell you what, I'm sweating like crazy already too. 
Let's have a look here at the trail. Wow. We're gonna survive, we're gonna survive. <laughs> now there's plenty of tourists here today, guys. Which is great to see. Very humid here in the jungle too, but um, cannot believe that we managed to see a proboscis monkey straight after registration. And now, go deeper in here towards this trail and see what we can find. By the way, you guys, if you ever do come to the Baku National Park, make sure to come equipped because I am wearing vents today and it's not the smartest of choices. It's quite slippery, so make sure um, that you bring definitely insect repellent, something against the mosquitoes, some shoes that you can walk in that are not slippery and um, something with long sleeves as well because there's a lot of mosquitoes and plants with thorns that are trying to get you and uh, you're sort of walking up and down these types of ladders all of the time which are crazy slippery. Whew. Luke is having the time of his life in his Doc Martens. Yeah. I'm struggling in my vents. <laughs> Survived. Now I understand why you need one hour for 800 meters. <laughs> <laughs> I was questioning the amount of hours before. <laughs> oh, but the stairs here are literally vertical. Very, very, very beautiful though. Wow. Just have a look at the vegetation here. Really thick jungle. I think we're making our way towards a beach area. Hopefully. This wouldn't mind a nice breeze. Wanna give a wave? <laughs> Just about everything in this jungle looks like it tries to kill you. <laughs> everything has thorns, everything looks a little poisonous. Even the palm trees, not happy. Don't you know? About the bird. Everybody knows that the bird is the word. Ah oh, well, a bird, bird, bird. The bird's the word. The bird's the word. I said a bird, bird, bird. Do the twist. Said a bird, bird, bird. But bird's the word. I said a bird, bird, bird. You know that you have to do the twist now as well. I said a bird, bird, bird. But bird's the word. After roughly around 40 minutes trekking through thick forest, we've made our way to literal paradise from what it looks like. You guys are not going to believe this. Just have a look. This is out of this world. Wow. Now, this is something that I've genuinely never even imagined that I would see, to be honest. This is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Even though it is such a not sunny day, such a cloudy day, it still is incredibly hot, and I'm sure you can see it in my face. I'm uh, going into my tomato mode but um this this beach here is incredibly beautiful check this out now the tide is out at the moment which is why you have so much beach i assume that the water would go sort of all the way to um yeah close to where luke is standing maybe a little bit further even and uh, yeah you can basically see everything that the ocean has left behind here, right here, right now. It's uh, very beautiful, very quaint. And um, to me, like surprisingly to me, there are so many people around as well. There's so many tourists visiting um, the Baku National Park, which I didn't expect on a rainy day like today. I sort of thought everybody was going to stay home today or maybe do a market type of day. But yeah, here we are. Everybody is 
<laughs> taking a short break at the end of the trail and yeah. yeah. Did you guys expect so many people to be here on a rainy day? There's a lot yeah. of people here, a lot of tourists. Um, didn't expect it at all. It's crazy. Oh, surprising amount. Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're all covered in sweat. <laughs> I'm not even sure anymore if it's just sweat or also rain or maybe humidity. I don't know. It's just a weird. It's a weird mix of everything. Oh yeah, you have you're you're staying here and there's no water in the accommodation, right? I heard them say that. It's gonna be a smelly, sticky situation tomorrow. <laughs> I uh, was just looking at a little bit of like the smaller crabs, sort of hermit crabs here and there were a few green looking, what I thought was bugs around it and I was like, ah, they don't really look like bugs and I thought um, they might be baby horseshoe crabs and uh, that turned out to be true. We just found a adult size horseshoe crab here on the beach. First time I think for both of us seeing a horseshoe crab, a really really cool experience. Um, but other than that, the trail that we did was supposed to be um, the best trail to see animals. And uh, so far we have seen a horseshoe crab, <laughs> so that's good. Obviously you need a lot of luck to see uh, certain animals and um, I do hope that maybe on our way back we will be able to see some sort of uh, monkeys maybe or something like that. It would be really nice. Okay. The sweaty hike back to where we registered. I think next up we're gonna have to try and get some food, some coffee, something in that direction. Right now it's coming up to, I think, right around midday. None of us, well, me and Naomi have not had breakfast. Just literally uh, some coffee. Luckily we brought plenty of water with us, so I think it's already though running low because we're drinking a crazy amount of liquid we brought two liters we brought two liters but it's nowhere near enough um yeah hopefully we'll be back where we need to be in the next maybe 20 25 minutes or so but i'll tell you what guys this national park is something else once in a lifetime experience for sure um, so basically, we took the boat from Kuching. Uh, there's a jetty that you have to go to. Hop on the boat. It'll take you out here, of course, after you register and all that stuff. And then once you're out here, everything becomes real. Basically register at the office, and then from there, pick a trail. They'll actually recommend a couple of different trails for you to try out. And um, the one that we did today was a white trail. We want to do a yellow trail as well, but I don't know if we're going to have enough time. I don't think we will have enough time. So now it's just quarter past 12. Um, not yet. No. We saw there's, horseshoe crabs. There's a very big horseshoe crab on the beach. Okay. Like big boy. Okay. That's about it. Um, <laughs> and we saw the proboscis monkey, the nose monkey, yeah. but in the on beach. that beach over there, though. In the oh, starting really? point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the starting point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There should be one like hanging out somewhere there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Ah. Oh, so it has been hanging around. Yeah. <laughs> Easy spot. <laughs> Enjoy. 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 So it's quarter past 12, uh, our boat picks us up at around 3, so we have exactly 3 hours. If we want to, to have like a coffee or a sandwich or something, uh, we will not be able to walk that yellow trail because the yellow trail is one and a half hours in each direction. Yep. So yeah, that's cutting it a bit short, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of time. We really sort of... That's the thing with those time. It's the thing with the timed trails, yeah. When, it, when, it, when you see it online, you kind of think it's uh, one and a half hours or one hour's round trip, but it's not, it's just one way. So exactly. don't, <laughs> don't walk too far. <laughs> <laughs> My God. And it's also one hour for 800 meters. So One hour, yeah, true, for 800 meters. It's a lot of up and down. It's a lot, it's a lot of, of slippery slopes. Slippery slopes, yeah. But um, yeah, this is a must do. If you're visiting Kuching, 
make sure to check this out. Relatively inexpensive. Um, we did meet some people that are saying they're staying in accommodations as well. But uh, apparently there's no water in the accommodations. Which, uh, I don't know, after walking around in the rainforest or the jungle all day, I don't know how happy I, I would be with not being able to take a shower. I think the whole thing with the water is just uh, because they're renovating. Ah, okay. I think it's not like, usually that you would have water, it's just yeah. like a special case. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm looking down while I'm talking here. I'm just trying to survive at this point. But um, yeah, really, really incredible. The beach that we walked to on this white trail, it's the 800 meter trail, one of the one of the sort of short trails that you can take on this in in this national park it's well worth it especially if you're coming with your family we saw a few families that walked by and um, they were having a great time and it's definitely not super super uh, knock your socks off type of difficult hello, hello. hi <laughs> and uh, yeah, we should be back soon, ready for a coffee. I feel like we're not really doing that much, but it's so hot and exhausting and humid. Yep. It's genuinely challenging, even though it's just 800 meters. Yeah, it's crazy. Initially, we wanted to do the like five kilometer plus trek, and I'm very happy that we didn't. 100 percent yeah we uh had a, a look around at the different tracks that you can do and um this was one of the easier ones but there was another one that was called something like lang tin or langen or something like that um a red trail and it's three and a half hours one way so you would be doing it like seven. a solid seven hours of hiking in this crazy jungle. Not today. Made our way to another beach now. And um, I think we're gonna walk along this beach, see where it leads us. I think we're trying still to make it, make our way back now to the restaurant or the registration office. Wow, sun is very strong here. That's one thing I will say. If you are coming, make sure to be careful especially at low tide because the sun gets incredibly strong and um, it will tire you out quicker than you can even realize it's so interesting actually when we were on the boat to come in the local captain that was driving the boat he was saying as soon as there is low tide all of the crocodiles first of all all of the crocodiles will come out and second it's going to get really really hot and sunny and he was correct, it's yeah. low tide at the moment and the second the low tide started, the clouds basically opened up, it's sunny, it's hot, it's humid. Uh, yeah, interesting how he knew what was going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> he was genuinely spot on and um, I think you have to be, especially if you're working somewhere like this, you're fully at the will of mother nature in a place like this. You and have to um, be plugged in, yeah. You really do, yeah, have to be plugged in. Um, signs everywhere here saying beware of crocodiles luckily we haven't seen one yet i would like to see one though maybe from a decent yeah, from, distance from very far away <laughs> from far away yeah but uh no sightings of a crocodile yet we did see though like two or three maybe or uh, two proboscis monkeys yeah. those monkeys this camera is not the best when it comes to zooming in on stuff though so Hopefully, we'll have some footage from our mobile phones or something like that. But wow, today has been truly unforgettable so far. Now, let's go and get a cold refreshment and cool off for a little while. So we just arrived here at the self-service canteen type of restaurant and uh, you can just basically scoop yourself random things onto your plate and then pay per scoop it looks like it's like around three ringgits per scoop. So I have some um, fried noodles and 
Some thick noodles. Some thick noodles. And I assume like one scoop each, so it's gonna be like six ringgits for this. Maybe I'm gonna get some vegetables as well. They look really nice here. And uh, it smells fantastic. Our wild archaeologist friend, <laughs> wild American, is on the hunt for a lemur. It's up there in the tree. <laughs> I heard it jump. Oh. I just don't know that what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a butterfly and I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Typical American. <laughs> <Butterfly>. <laughs> Yeah, apparently one, one of our other American friends told us to come and look here for a lemur. But... I don't know. I'm pretty sure, like most monkeys, the monkey left. And is probably swinging around somewhere else. Are there supposed to be a lemur? Supposed to be a lemur here. Uh, yeah. Like black and white ring tail uh, lemur? Yeah. But we can't find him. Uh, <laughs> well, we're still looking. <laughs> So just to give you guys an idea of something that you could expect for accommodation here. Um, basically from what I've understood, we met a lovely friend of ours that is actually was staying in our accommodation in Kuching and she is staying, she is staying overnight here at this place. Works out to roughly around 100 ringgits per night if you want to stay in this particular one and you can go through the Sarawak um, tourism board if that is something that you want to do I think it definitely would be well well worth your time if that is something that you're interested in doing for us we're just doing the day trip we're gonna be heading back on the boat soon quite literally in around half an hour we really wish that we had more time though but we have plenty more to do, plenty more to explore around Kuching, around Sarawak and around the rest of Borneo too. Just want to say that this entire experience is incredibly beautiful and so so worth it and to be honest we were contemplating um, staying here overnight and uh, now that I've seen it or that we have seen it I do want to say that um, yeah, the next time we come here we would definitely stay overnight because the longer hikes or if you want to do like several hikes um, you're not going to do that in a day trip um, we just managed sort of to do the one shorter brisk um, hike which was actually one of the shortest ones um, but yeah we really wanted to do the the long one so if we do come back we would stay here overnight and then maybe do the long one the morning after sort of the second day and uh, yeah definitely worth it if you ever do come to Kuching make sure to come out to Baco but make it an early departure I think we were on the bus sort of I want to say around quarter to eight or something like that so make sure to get an early bus and come out here as early as possible so that you can actually enjoy your experience here we're just about to go back onto the boat and um, we're sort of planning to see a place called the Sea Stack. We're just a little bit further out into the open water, I believe, from what I understood. And uh, yeah, we're currently trying to figure out where our captain is because he said he was going to be here at like quarter to three. And now we just have to sort of find him or maybe uh, we also took his phone number, by the way. If you ever do this, make sure to take the captain's phone number and then you can call him whenever you do arrive at the beach and now um, as you can see I think we had a blue boat I think it might be him out there I'm not too sure actually anybody have an idea where our captain is oh captain mein captain, oh, captain, my captain. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Huh? the water is Really warm. Water is very warm, yeah. I thought it was gonna be cold. Time to get back on the boat, guys. I think I stepped on a hermit trap. <laughs> <laughs> Scream. And I hit my head. <laughs> yes, I hit my head, be careful. You guys wanna ride up front for your 
tube thing on the way back. Ah, oh, don't worry. All good. You know, get your bow shots in. <laughs> All right, so we made it back onto the boat, and now one head bump. More. One head bump extra was it sore? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm used to it. We'll carry her out. Yep. Get her back to the medical clinic. <laughs> one severe head bump. Oh, uh, should we tell him with the C stack? So now we're actually going to head towards the C stack, and it's um, 50 ringgits extra for all four of us combined. So that's uh, it's not a bad deal. It's like an extra tenner, 10 euro, $10. And um, it's probably gonna add a little bit of extra time onto this experience. It's 250 each euro. So it's very cool just to go out a little bit more on the open water, I suppose. And also it stopped raining, so this time around we're not getting wet on the way. <laughs> Woo Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Go cowboys! Woo! <laughs> Wow, absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> this is amazing. Water is beautiful here as well. Beautiful sea stack formation. All of the formations of the rocks around here created by the water is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Just look how it's carved out from the waves here this is crazy oh yeah you could see some crazy stuff can you imagine I'm, obviously you're not allowed to go swimming so please don't do it but like um, it would be so amazing to go snorkeling here and actually see what type of water life aquatic life there is uh, oh yeah around here Especially because wash your hands on the barnacles, so that's sharp rocks. The yeah, it's gonna be sharp. Yeah. yeah, very easy to injure yourself. But the water seems to be relatively calm around here, kind of. Yeah, sort of, no? It's very warm waters as well. Yeah, it's like a tub. Yeah. <laughs> National Park. What a day it was. We just wish that we were able to do to do more of what we've done. And uh, yeah. Ah, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, now we're back at the terminal. Crazy American friend with us here. <laughs> Where's the noodles? I need some noodles. Yeah. I think we're all starving now, even though I had food, I'm still very hungry. I think it just has to do with the humidity, the heat, the sweatiness of it all. Absolutely gorgeous out here. The views along the way in the boat, in the park itself, definitely worth coming and spending a day here for sure. What a day it has been. Yeah. So beautiful. I just wish we had a lot more time. Like two weeks more time. Yeah. So I feel like it's such a large park and uh, you can't really see it, it all in one day. Like at least two, three, four days, something like that. Yep. Would I think be appropriate. <laughs> just need to do something about the heat, you know, if they could yeah, turn yeah. that down a bit. <laughs> be five star. Turn on the AC. In the turn on the AC. AC. <laughs> Boats need some AC. <laughs> right, and this big tail just kind of flies <laughs> right in front of the tent. I got back in. Okay, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, lion. Talk, talk to him the next morning. Say, yeah, there was a lion that cruised through camp in the middle of the night. Oh. Okay, guys. So we made our way back to the city of Kuching, and now making our way home 
for now anyways, our little temporary home in Kuching City. Um, what a day, what a place, what a beautiful place Baco National Park was. Um, absolutely well worth your time, well worth a visit, a must visit if I do say so myself. I think Naomi fully agrees. I fully agree, yes. Um, but make sure to bring the proper footwear, insect repellent and, uh, and a good SPF. I got a little bit burnt, so yep. make sure you're prepared. <laughs> Sun is pretty crazy at the park itself. That is a major factor. I think after just doing the one trail, all of us felt absolutely exhausted. So we just stayed at the restaurant until it was time to hop back on the boat because unfortunately we definitely didn't have enough time to do a second trail. But um, yeah, definitely, if you do get the chance, make sure to check out Baco National Park. But uh, for now, <laughs> We're completely it's in It's very, dark. very dark. <laughs> For now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Borneo adventure. Terima kasih for watching. Terima kasih. Bye bye. bye. bye.